and welcome back. Do you still remember my name? Yes, it's Gigi. And I was so excited to know that I would see you again today. Are you as excited as I am for the story? That's great! But before we watch the story, do you remember that Wally told us that some of the other ostriches were mean to him? Yes, I wonder if Wally has forgiven them. Let's WhatsApp call Wally to find out. While I am busy calling him, we are going to worship together. So let's all stand up and worship together. <laughs> with you today. Wally, I have something I want to ask you. A question for me? Sure. What do you want to know? Well, Wally, do you remember last week you told us that some of the other ostriches were mean to you? Yes, Gigi. I was really hurt by what they said. I would also be hurt, Wally, and that's why I want to know if you have forgiven them already. Forgiven? What does that mean? Well, Wally, to forgive means to let go when someone else has hurt you. When you have forgiven them, you won't feel that anger towards them anymore. Hmm. Gigi, then I don't know if I've forgiven them because... I don't want to see them, and when I do, my shins get red of anger. Wow, Wally, then you are very lucky, 
because today we are going to speak about the importance of forgiving others. Oh snap, crackle and pop, what was that? Oh, I don't know what that was, Gigi. I just got a message from Professor and he says we should urgently channel over to him. Yes, let's go and hear what he's up to. Everybody, thank you for coming so quickly. I have a great idea. Really, Professor? What is your idea? We are talking about forgiveness, right? Well, I was thinking, I'm going to use my little robot friend here, Elmo. But um, if we look at this paper, think of this paper as the things that other people has done against you and you have not forgiven them and another play, another way of putting it if we don't forgive somebody it is like holding something against somebody else and you see everywhere where that person goes I have to go with them because I am holding this paper against him. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where he goes. I have to go with him because I am holding it against him. But as soon as I let go and I ask Jesus to help me to forgive what happens, this person is free and I am free. I can go where I want. I can do what I want because I'm not holding anything against anybody else. Isn't that wonderful? You can practice it at home as well. Oh, oh but I've got another a very good experiment. But you are going to have to come much, much closer to, this, to see this one because you have to look at the arrow through this glass. Okay, you see the arrow through the glass and at the moment it is pointing at a very unhappy person. Somebody that is not free because he has not forgiven. And on the other side, there is a happy face. Somebody that is free. But at this stage, the, the arrow is pointing to the unhappy face. But as soon as we ask Jesus to fill us, with his forgiveness, look what happens. Oh, isn't that wonderful? The arrow is looking in the other direction. And now we are not grumpy and unfriendly because we are free. We have forgiven that person and now we are free and happy. So everybody, I hope that you will go out and forgive your friends. Wow, Professor, that was so cool. Ostrich feathers, that was awesome. And the professor also gave us our code name for the week. You listened very closely, Wally. That's exactly what the professor did. He gave us our code name for the week. Love forgives. Let's say it together, friends. Are you ready? One, two, three. Love forgives. Let's do it one more time. Love forgives. Well done, guys. This reminds me of our secret code for the week. 
let's channel over to Auntie Mareska to see what our secret code for the week is. Hi friends, are you ready for today's secret code? We find it in the New Testament, in the book of Ephesians 4 verse 32. Instead, be kind to each other, caring and forgiving one another, just as God has forgiven you. Let's try it again. In the New Testament, in the book of Ephesians 4 verse 32. Instead, be kind to each other, caring and forgiving one another, just as God has forgiven you. That was fantastic! What do you guys think? Great! Wally, did you hear what Auntie Mariska said? Yes, Gigi. Auntie Mariska said, Instead, be kind to each other, caring and forgiving one another, just as God has forgiven you. Well done, Wally! Where do you find a code in the Bible? That was in Ephesians 4 verse 32. Good job, Wally! Gigi, what if the ostriches are ugly to me more than once a day? What then? Well, Wally, when Jesus was on earth, one of his disciples, Peter, asked him how many times he should forgive someone in a day. Jesus replied and said, You should forgive 70 times 7. But before I get ahead of myself, Wally, let's ask Biddy to channel us to the story. Biddy, channel us to the story. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, please be patient with me and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, yo. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please! His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No! But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Oh, now I've 
have got it. We have to forgive others because God forgave us first and because he loves us very much. Exactly, Wally. We should forgive others even when they have hurt us so that they can see the love of Jesus through us. Do you still remember our code name for the week, friends? Do you remember? Exactly! Love forgives! Wally, what's wrong? Gigi, I'm hiding my head. We ostriches do that sometimes. But why are you hiding your face at this moment, Wally? Well, I listened to what the professor said, and what the story said, and what our secret code said. But when they are mean to me, it really hurt me, and I don't feel like forgiving them. That's okay, Wally. You don't have to feel to forgive them. You just have to choose to forgive them. What do you mean, Gigi? Wally, forgiveness isn't a feeling, but it is a choice to forgive others. Because if it was a feeling, we might never forgive others. To forgive helps us to not hold anything against anyone. It helps us to be free. When we don't forgive, it only hurts us more. And then we are disobedient to what Jesus teaches us in the Bible. Wow, I never thought of it that way. I don't want to be disobedient to what Jesus says. Well, Wally. Let me put it like this. Friends, how many of you felt like brushing your teeth this morning? You see, Wally, not all of their hands went up. Because it's not a feeling to brush teeth. We make a choice to brush teeth because it's good for us. Ooh, I think I understand now. I choose to forgive my friends because that makes me a good agent. And when I forgive others, they will see Jesus lives in me and that he is the king of my life. Yes, Wally, because when we don't forgive, we make ourselves king of our lives. But when we forgive, we make Jesus the king of our lives. And then people can see Jesus' love through us. Gigi, that makes sense now. As soon as we have greeted our friends, I am going on my knees immediately to forgive all my friends. I am glad to hear that, Wally. I think we should say our secret code of Auntie Mariska again. Are you ready, friends? Let's stand up and do the secret code with Auntie Mariska. Hi friends, do you still remember our secret code for today? Let's stand and do it together. In the New Testament, in the book of Ephesians 4 verse 32. Instead, be kind to each other, caring for each other and forgiving one another, just as God has forgiven you. Right, friends, we have reached the end of our mission for today. But remember, love forgives. This is so true, Wally. And I am going to download my secret document immediately so that I can know the mission for the week. Gigi, can we stand and sing a song together as soon as we say goodbye to our friends? Yes, Wally, and I know exactly what song we are going to sing. So let's sing the song together, friends. Bye, friends. See you next week. Bye-bye, friends. Gigi and Wally over and out.
Forgive as you forgive.